I'm wondering like just a little bit if it's just like the tiniest bit scammy. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help build your brand and grow your business online. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Oh goodness, you guys. Okay, so I parted my hair on the other side of my head to give this side of my head a break. I don't know why, it just it just looked overworked. So I thought, you know, you could use a rest. I'm gonna part it on this side and now I feel weird. I feel like a different person. Um, <laughs> I feel very strange. But today we're gonna be getting into the Stitch Fix box that I have received for th this time that I've received it. Um, It's not like a seasonal thing. It's not like a monthly thing. You just kind of get it whenever you want to. But um, yeah, maybe right part of me will enjoy these clothes more than I have for the past few boxes. But um, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of excited to get into it. But I'm also a little bit worried because the box is kind of small. And we're going into fall here. So I anticipated it being like a little bit bulkier, a little bit girthier. Because, you know, I was hoping for like some fall sweaters or maybe like a coat type thing or a jacket or just something fall related since it is almost October. But uh, no, we have a box that's about this big. So I'm not assuming we have any like heavy knit sweaters in here or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and get into this and see and I will be trying on everything today. So we'll see how it looks on. Oh boy. <laughs> so the very first thing I'm seeing is purple, which is one of my least favorite colors to put on my body. Oh, okay. Interesting. A very interesting little stack here. We got a lot of cool tones going on. We got a lot of blues, purples, more blues. All wrapped up in our little deli meat package. And this time when I say little, I I do mean little. This is a fairly small package of things, so I doubt there's much material happening. A lot of this is looking a little bit on like the sheer kind of flowy side uh, with some denim. So let's just go ahead and see what we got here. All right, so the very first thing we have on top is black and white, which I, I do like a nice little black and white top. Oh. Well then, uh, this shirt, the, the just the entire back is missing. Like, I, hello. I'm really certain I have stated in my profile that um, I don't really like showing off my back. I say it every single time. And like my profile and things that I write, I don't like showing off my back. It's just back there. I got bad posture, just kind of all hunched over. Like, it's just not like a focal point that I want to like show off. And I don't like spaghetti straps. So those are the two things that I really try to like hit home with all these styling subscriptions and this one seems to have ignored the back issue because that's gaping. I mean I guess you always could wear like a little tank top or something underneath it or maybe like a cute like bralette kind of thing because how do you wear a bra with this? It has to you would have to wear some type of shirt or just like a cute little bralette or just not one. You know what? Honestly though I really like things that tie at the waist and this little top part unbuttons and then I wonder if you could kind of wear it as like a tie top after that. So put it on like backwards and this just becomes like a little tie top. That's actually more my style and I would feel more comfortable wearing it that way. Of course you know with something underneath because again kind of gaping. <laughs> I can't figure out how to get it back together. Okay anyway this is from the brand Lush. This is the Lush Brie tie back crop blouse in black. It is a size medium. It has that kind of like material. I don't you, you know what I mean? Not an absent polyester. Yeah, that's what I mean. I did also say in my profile that I don't like polka dots, but I guess this kind of like, it, it's not really a polka dot, you know? Like it gets away with it because the dots themselves are a bit like oblong and misshapen. So technically not like a, you know, a dot. They're more of like a, like a smush. But this could look kind of cute on and potentially be an elevated style of my very like simple black and white wardrobe that I like to wear. Now this thing, this thing, I just, oh, what is it about purple? Do you think that looks nice on my skin tone? I just don't. What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they were like back material. We don't know her. None of these have backs to them. So we have like a high neck tank top here, which I actually do kind of like this cut on me. If I'm going to wear something that exposes my arms, I kind of like something that cuts in and is kind of high necked. But this cuts in, it is a very purpley color and there's, there's, it's just missing its back piece. That's not the front, is it? No, that's a little low cut. No, I don't think that's the front. This is another free people tank. I feel like this any one of these in nearly every box that I get from them. I think I ordered one of them once. Like I was like, oh yes, I do like this tank top. I'll purchase this tank top. And then after that, they were just like, oh, we heard you liked free people tank tops. And now there's one in every single box I get. Uh, but this is the free people movement by free people open air tank. It says it's blue. I, I don't know about y'all, but that is not blue to me. Like in person, in real life. And I think in the camera as well, like this is not blue. <laughs> 
Am I colorblind? I don't know. I personally don't think this is an item that I'm going to enjoy. I think it's gonna give me a little bit of that like muscle tank look and you guys know how I feel about that. I'm not typically looking to, you know, like shoot pre-workout with the boys or anything like that. So, oh, it's an interesting detail on the bottom. So the bottom of this has this weird, like it looks like the bottom seam has just ripped apart. I guess it's supposed to look, you know, kind of worn in or something, I don't know. I'll definitely give it a try on, but I can't imagine that I'm going to enjoy a purple tank top, but we'll see. Next up here, we have a, another kind of slinky feeling top. This one I do think is actually blue. I think this is correct in saying this is blue. Navy, yeah. This is the Nine Britain Daria cropped cami in navy. And um, yeah, it seems kind of cute. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it says it's a size medium. It does seem like it would be like a nice flowy medium. Um, It is also cropped. There's a bit of like elastic here at the bottom. Um, But yeah, it's also spaghetti straps, which is one of the things, one of the, one of the things that I was like, hey, just don't send me spaghetti straps. <laughs> I truly am trying to get over like my distaste of spaghetti straps. I think honestly, it's just typically where they hit on the shoulder. I don't like how it emphasizes my shoulders. I'm getting more okay with showing my arms and stuff. Um, But even if something is like completely armless, what do you call that? When there's nothing on the top, you know, it's just like it cuts off here. What is that? Sleeveless, no sleeves. I feel more comfortable in something completely revealing on the top than I do with a tiny little strap. And I don't know what that, I don't know what that's about, but um, I'm just, I've never been a fan of spaghetti straps. The print on this is okay. It's okay. Um, Maybe not my favorite, but it's not awful. It says this is a Stitch Fix exclusive. And I don't know if that means like this is a Stitch Fix brand. I've been finding more and more that a lot of the brands in these boxes, like in the Wannable ones and the Stitch Fix ones, people have been telling me that those brands are actually owned by the companies, which is, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering like just a little bit, if it's just like the tiniest bit scammy and maybe not even scammy, but like if it's your own brand that you're putting into your own box, you can kind of say it's worth whatever you want, you know, and you're not getting it from another established brand, like free people. I can look up that tank top and I can see how much that tank top is actually worth. Whereas if it's coming from like, you know, the brand that you own, you control those prices and you're putting them in your boxes and maybe you could say they're worth more than they really are, even though potentially you're getting them from like fast fashion or something and you're basically private labeling the clothes. I'm not saying that's what's going on here or this could not even be a Stitch Fix brand. This could just be exclusively made from this brand for Stitch Fix. But I'm just saying like Wantable for instance has a Wantable brand that shows up in their boxes and there, there's the potential that they're just getting those clothes and like private labeling them and marking up the prices quite a bit to be able to increase how much you have to pay for your box. And again, that might not be the case. That's just been something that I've been thinking about. And that's not exclusive to like just clothing subscriptions either. Beauty and makeup subscriptions like Ipsy and BoxyCharm are also creating brands that they're putting inside of their boxes, which, you know, helps them, I'm sure, regulate the cost of their boxes and they can also dictate the value. I don't know. I'll look more into that. Anyway, let's <laughs> talk about clothes. Next thing we have here is a pair of shorts. Oh, I actually kind of like these. Yeah, okay. I actually kind of like these. These are definitely a pair of shorts. If I were shopping for shorts, I would pick these up and be like, yeah, I'll try these on. Um, they are a good wash. I like this nice kind of like worn in wash. Yeah, they got some stretch to them, which is good. I have a few pair of Studio Blue pants that I've received from Stitch Fix and I do like them. I like a nice frayed hem with some distressing. I like my pants and my jeans to look really worn in. So yeah, I think these are actually pretty cute. These are the Studio Blue Lulu High Rise Fringe Hem Short. They are a size eight. And I do know that, you know, it is fall. Fall is approaching and not quickly enough for my personal taste, but it is coming. There's a bit of a coolness in the air, but it's also like still 80 degrees. Somehow there's like a slight chill in the morning and then all of a sudden it's sweltering and you're sweating outside. It is still pretty hot outside so I can get some use out of the stuff that is not fall-esque. I was just kind of hoping for some comfy cozy things because that's, you know, that's what I live in. I don't care the temperature it is outside. I'm going to be wearing something comfortable and cozy. And that's also kind of why I want a styling subscription where people actually style me because like I, I could use some style help. I'm not exactly, you know, a style icon here. I know my Goodwill Auburn sweatshirt might give you a different impression, but truly, I am not very good at fashion and putting pieces together. I also don't know where Auburn is. I just like the sweatshirt. And then finally, the last thing in here, <laughs> a little bit different than the last pair of jeans because this is probably my least favorite wash of jeans. It's just so blue. It's so blue, like goodness. Like there's a tiny bit of a lighter wash here in the front, but daggone, these are very, very blue jeans. And at some point, I almost kind of feel like when your pants are this blue, they no longer become like 
like a neutral jean that you can pair with almost anything. Like now you're just wearing blue pants. Like this, you might as well like put on a pair of blue pants. They are however high rise and skinny, which is the, you know, the kind of pants that I go for. Um, It's either high rise and skinny or high rise. And I have them wearing some mom jeans, like, you know, to be slightly more fashionable. But apparently I'm, I'm too far behind because now we've moved into like low rise flared leg, which isn't gonna happen. You know who can pull off super low rise jeans? Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears in the early 2000s. And that is not me. And I refuse to wear anything that doesn't cover my belly button. So these are good for me. These are nice and high rise. These are the 1822 denim vintage denim. High rise ankle skinny in the size eight. It says this classic looking denim engineered with perfect blend of softness and stretch. This innovative fabric provides a slimming fit and comfort all day. So yeah, that sounds nice. I just do wish they were in such like a deep blue color. All right, you guys, that was all the pieces in the Stitch Fix box. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying those on and I'll be right back. Hello everybody. Just pop it in here real quick before we move on to tell you guys what today's sponsor is Squarespace. I have been working with and using Squarespace for over a year now and it has been all around amazing. As a business owner myself, Squarespace has been so helpful and now that my business is expanding, Squarespace is pretty much going to be necessary. Squarespace can help anyone build their brand and grow their business online. Whether you're a business owner who wants to start selling online, an artist who wants to show off their craft, or a blogger who strives to inspire people, Squarespace has something for everyone. They offer customizable galleries where you can display images and videos in unique ways blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site. Their system supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, along with the capability to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Plus, Squarespace keeps you fully connected to all of your social medias by displaying posts from your social profiles directly on your website so your followers can see it and they can share it too. So whatever it is that you're interested in, Squarespace has all the tools you need to build a brand, grow your business, and support your passion. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexanderbyam for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for continuing to support the channel. Oh, you can see my belly button. I don't like that. Okay. All right, you guys. So here are the first couple of pieces on. So we have the shirt. I did initially try to tie it like I was saying, like I put it on backwards and tried to tie it in the front. That did not go very well. Uh, no, it is definitely not meant to be tied like that. It was, it was very open here in the front. So I put it on regularly and I actually like it a lot more than I anticipated. I like the kind of like open neckline here. It's not too plunging. It still gives you enough coverage. The sleeves actually fit so well on my shoulders. They do make them just look a little tiny bit more large and square than they typically do. There's like these little poofy bits just like right here on the edge, which gives me a little bit of like a shoulder pad look, but I kind of like it with the silhouette. I think this is a flattering sleeve on me. It's nice and flowy, but not too big. So it doesn't draw like a ton of attention here to my upper part. And then the back, the back. I, I really, really thought I was gonna hate how open it was in the back, but I actually kind of like it. It covers the parts that I'm most insecure about, which are like, you know, these mushy bits right here. And that's perfectly fine. Everybody's got mushy bits, but it does kind of, you know, disguise those a bit. I just went ahead and wore it with nothing underneath, but you definitely could wear like a cute little like lacy shirt or something underneath it, a cami, if you weren't comfortable with that being open. I tied mine in a bow in the back, but you could just like kind of leave it longer if you wanted. And this bow, like the tying action there, gives you a bit of a cinch in at the waist. So I personally actually really like this top. I think it's cute. All right, and then moving down to the shorts, I honestly, I like these as well. They're a little bit fuzzy at the bottom. You know, we got a little like, um, you know, practically look like a swiffer sweeper. Like I could like walk around like this and mop the floor, but that's okay. I kind of like the little detail of having the fuzzies here. I guess, what do you call that? Fringe? I don't know. What is that? Whatever it is, there is a lot of it. I guess I could probably go in and trim some of this out. Like if it did get a little too much, I'm sure over time as like I wash it, it won't be this fluffy. They fit okay. There is a bit of like gapping in the back, but they fit really nicely everywhere else, which I really, I honestly don't know why there's gapping. Like it's not like I got like a, like a booty sticking out to like cause the gapping. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But again, I do really like the wash. I like the distressing. We don't have like a dark blue diaper going on. So like this, I think, I think I like them. I think these are pretty good. Oh, oh heavens. No, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange little top. It feels like I'm entirely wearing it backwards. Like this feels entirely backwards, but like there's no way this is the front. You'd be dangling out all over the place. Speaking of dangling, I feel like if you, one wrong movement and you're just exposed. One like too strong gust of wind with your arm out and you're, you're exposed. This seems like a very dangerous top to me. And it's also like at the same time, like kind of conservative and then like kind of just uh, like totally exposed. I'm not a huge fan of this material either. It doesn't feel like it's gonna hold its shape very well. It's not very elastic-y. It feels like it might stretch out over time. But like I just, I just, 
no, no thank you, no, not for me. Here is a full view of the back that you guys couldn't see it before. There's like a neck piece and then it's basically the same shape as the front of the tank top, but like this part just looks like it's been cut out with scissors. Real low, real, real low. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna see if you could actually wear it the other way, but no, you you cannot. You abs you absolutely cannot. Got little like suspenders. Honestly though, if this were just like a touch longer and like these actually, you know, pulled like this, this might be a more interesting look to me. I kind of like this more honestly than I do it the, the other direction, the real direction. But I truly cannot think of a single occasion where I could wear a shirt that looks like this. No, no time in my life do I think that there's any place that I could go that I could wear a tank top that looks like this. Something about this neck strap here just it just gives it a little something extra that I don't know if I could uh, incorporate into my everyday life. Alright you guys so here are the last two items. We'll start out here with the shirt. I, I have to admit, I have to admit, I actually I like it more than I expected to because of you know the strap situation, the pasta noodle strap situation. I do actually like it. It is just like a tiny bit big on me. I thought it was going to be a tiny bit flowy but I do think it is just a little bit large so, so if I were to keep this, not saying that I will, but let me know what you guys think I should do down below in the comments. I might size down with it, um, but I could like kind of tuck it like this into my jeans and kind of give it a little bit more shape and stuff where it's just kind of like loose and flowy, but there's also some shape. The back just looks pretty much the same. The back just looks pretty much the same as the front and the straps are adjustable, which could help a little bit with that looseness. But because there is some elastic here at the bottom, I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit more, maybe along the lines of that. So if I did keep this, um, maybe I would size down. Also, sorry if you guys can hear what sounds kind of like a, like a beaver chewing on wood. Um, that's Tater. He's over here chilling on the bone. Oh, Tater, we match. Look at us. Fashionable. He's a good boy. And then finally, the last thing I have here is the jeans. And honestly, I like these more than I anticipated too. They are a super dark wash and there's no like distressing or anything to them, but they are very, very comfortable. And they're just kind of like just a nice, super basic jean. They also fit pretty well, again, with some gapping, but it's not a huge issue. I feel like I can really, you know, bend and move on them, which is always nice. I don't feel necessarily like the knees are going to stretch out a lot. That's one of my least favorite things about jeans is when the knees stretch out. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that I like distressed jeans so much, especially with the knees missing, because they can't stretch out if they're missing. Uh, but yeah, overall, just like a very standard looking pair of jeans um, that I, I liked more than I thought I would. They do come to a very nice length on me. They hit right at the ankle like they're supposed to. So yeah, just a pretty basic pair of jeans, but I do like them. All right, you guys, so that's everything in this Stitch Fix box. And honestly, like, I'm, I'm, a I'm a little sorry. I'm a little bit sorry that this wasn't more entertaining. You know, I wasn't like screaming at anything. You know, typically when I'm doing like a clothing try on from one of these boxes, like, you know, there's more um, I'm shouting happening. Uh, there's more of me being dressed like, you know, a scarecrow or like some type of Victorian ghost or like an early 2000s Disney Channel original movie depiction of a mom. But honestly, like, most of this stuff I thought was pretty decent. The only thing that I'm just really not a fan of is that purple shirt. Like, I just don't enjoy that purple shirt. And this might not be, like, my go-to top or anything, but I don't think it's horrible. I really don't. So, overall, I thought things are pretty decent. I thought they were okay. So, let me get you guys some prices here so we can see how decent they are. Because of, like, this is a $68 top, that it becomes much less decent to me in my mind. Alrighty, so prices. I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm really shocked. Are you kidding me? Listen, I'm shocked in a good way. That doesn't typically happen with like these subscription boxes. I am shocked in a good way. Number one, the first item, the 1822 denim Aneta vintage high rise skinny jeans and indigo size eight are $34.99. What a reasonable price. What a reasonable price for a pair of jeans. To me, these are a pretty basic pair of jeans and I think that is a very basic cost for them to be. 35 bucks, that's very reasonable to me. Well then, we have the Free People Movement Free People open air tank in the color blue. I don't know who is distinguishing color there at Free People or Stitch Fix, but that is not a blue shirt. Size medium, it's $38. So it's $3 more than a full pair of jeans that you can wear multiple times in a row without even having to wash them because that's how jeans work. If you didn't know, jeans aren't dirty until they're dirty. Uh, then we have the Lush Brie tie back crop blouse in black, size medium. It's 40 bucks. For me personally, $40 for a shirt like that, that is a little pricey. Just like in, in my mind, in my world, in my realm, that's a little bit pricey because I know how much I typically pay for tops. But in the context of a clothing subscription box, that's not that bad. Then we have the Studio Blue Lulu high rise fringe hem short in light blue, size eight. Those are $44. And again, 
a little bit pricey, but not awful. Not the worst I've ever seen as far as like cost goes for shorts and subscription box. And then finally we have the Nine Britain Daria Cropped Cami in Navy with this right here. Size medium, it's $38. And again, not the worst price I've ever seen. Like I said, if this was like 60 bucks, $68, I would say that's insane. That's an insane price to pay for like a little top. But $38 in the context that we have going on here is not terrible. Okay, so here's kind of the exciting part. The stylus pick subtotal is $100. $94.99. But if you buy all five items, you get $48.75 off. That brings the order subtotal to $146.24. Then you get the styling fee purchase credit taken off that. That is 20 bucks. The shipping is free. Oh, that's curious. I never even noticed that little note there at the bottom. It says additional sales tax may apply. So like I said, with Wantable, like pretty much whatever you take off in your styling fee, like you have to pay back in tax. So that might be an issue here. But anyway, the shipping is free and that brings your order total to $126.24, which I don't think it's too shabby. I don't think that's that bad at all. You're getting a pair of shorts, a pair of jeans, and three tops. Definitely not the worst cost total we have ever seen from one of these boxes. And it's probably one of my favorite boxes I've seen recently. Even though it doesn't really fit fully into what I've asked for. I'm not sure if any box will ever be entirely what I've asked for. I didn't think it was that bad. I really didn't. And I'm highly considering keeping some of the stuff. So I'm going to do a little math here. I think my favorite items are probably the jeans, the shorts, and the black top. So let's see how much that would all be together. Oh, okay. So if I, <laughs> if I were to keep just those three items, it would bring my total to $118.99. But if I were to keep the other two items with it, it's $126.24. So that's that's kind of where they get you because now I also want to buy this top and the free people top because I did like those other items and wouldn't mind purchasing them, but why not pay like a couple more dollars and get two more pieces? And then like I could sell them on Poshmark or something. Free people's a fancy brand, right? I could get a couple bucks out of that. I could probably sell that for the difference to even out my cost and then get like an extra little shirt that I could wear if I wanted to. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So there is a chance I'm gonna be I'm gonna be keeping all of it and that doesn't happen very often but let me know all of your all thoughts and opinions down below in the comments i would love to hear what you have to say about this box let me know if you think i'm just settling because i finally found a couple pieces i kind of like for a cost that is insane or if you're like me and you're pretty shocked and you're happy that these things are actually like a kind of reasonable cost and they're kind of cute anyway just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions i love reading and responding to them so just thank you guys so very much for watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind in the absolute world to me and i hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see you all next time. Bye!